Hi, I'm Yvan from the RV Cooking Show, and today I'm going to show you how to make a deliciously simple dish from our friends at Kraft Foods, a speedy chicken stir fry. And I'm going to make that for you right here in my RV kitchen. I'm sure once you try this and taste it, it will, like in my RV, become a family favorite. So come on, let's get cooking. We're going to start with the sauce. The base of our sauce is this fabulous light Asian toasted sesame dressing. It's not just for salads, and when you taste this dish, you'll understand what I mean. For the rest of our sauce, what we're going to do is we're going to use a quarter teaspoon of dried garlic powder, or if you're like me, I like one clove of garlic crushed. We're also going to use a quarter teaspoon of dried ginger. And again, if you're like me, I like the crushed ginger in the jar. So I'm just going to add our half a teaspoon, two tablespoons of soy sauce, and a quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper just to add a little bit of zing. We're going to add a little bit of canola oil spray to the bottom of our saute pan. It's been warmed up on medium high heat. We're going to add about a pound of boneless, skinless chicken breast. To our chicken breast, I'm going to add a little something special. I'm going to add strips of red pepper right into the pan. Our chicken's going to cook about six to eight minutes, so this is a perfect time to start our pasta. It's going to take about five minutes to cook all the way through. I'm going to set my timer for two and a half minutes, and when our timer goes off, we're going to add our fresh broccoli crowns, about two cups of fresh broccoli, to the boiling water, and we'll allow that to cook for about two and a half more minutes. It's easy doing double duty. Our pasta and our broccoli is done. Let's drain it and let's get ready to eat. Place your drained pasta and broccoli into a nice large bowl. Now we're going to add our chicken and our peppers right on top. This looks wonderful. Next we're going to add our sauce. We're going to add that soy sauce mixture that we made earlier. And we're going to add a half a cup of our Kraft toasted sesame dressing. I'm going to mix this all together in this large bowl. The pasta will soak up all the flavors of this fabulous sauce. The last step before serving this delicious speedy chicken stir fry is to top it with some planters dry roasted peanuts. Chop them up and just sprinkle them over the top of the dish. You can find this recipe for Kraft's speedy chicken stir fry or lots of other great recipes on their website at craftfoods.com. Make this dish and you'll agree it is deliciously simple every day. We'll see you again next time and happy travels.